This is so cool right here. These things are huge. And then we got a Darth Vader one right here. Man, those are big. And then Salt Beach one. Super, super cute. So what house? Hufflepuff. 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 Thank you. I am married to a Hufflepuff. He's great friend. Some lounge fly bags. Y'all, look at this Popples one. I used to watch Popples all the time. Huh? Oh, Miles Morales. And Ratatouille. An Ewok. I really like that turtle. Oh, did you see the Garfield? Oh, I did not see the Garfield one. Really like Garfield. That E.T. one is so cute. Oh, and they have peanuts. Yeah, and there's an E.T. one. I've never seen an E.T. one before. There's Queen Amidala, Ahsoka. Where? Oh, up top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like these. Oh yeah, there's Coraline and Stranger Things too. The Jetsons. Damn, this just like got everything. Everything is a lounge fly bag. Huh? Oh, did you just knock that over? Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, look at this, Snoopy. Yes, and Gaston. Gaston. Well, there's a Stormtrooper one over there. Is that one with little Ewoks on it? Uh, where? Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's another Ewok one on the other side, oh, I too. Like that one, too. And from Stranger Things. Mm hmm. Oh look, there's Optimus Prime up there, beside Megatron. Yeah, you there's- have bags to put them in when we buy them? I have uh, two options. So I have bags for everything, and I also do 10 bucks on the cases if you'd like cases for them. We frame all of it, so I, I think we'd pass, but- So we found this 3D printing stuff, and look what I found. I found a mouser. That is so cool. And you said what was behind it? There's a Reagan skull down there. Oh, yeah. And it's a cat bus behind it. Big old man down there. Uh huh. Look at Hellboy, yeah. Cool. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Lord of the Rings. That's a huge Mando helmet. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at this Magneto. Nice, Daredevil.
Oh, look at this. He is he is printing on the spot. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Got a bunch of the dragons. Bunch of cool stuff. Ooh, look at that um, phoenix over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like in the center of the screen right now. Cool. Look what we got here. Soka clone trooper. Soka. Shadow Storm Trooper, that's pretty cool. Electro Staff Purge Trooper. Nice, let's see what else they got. A bunch of the Funko Soda. Type three for $10. Got a bunch of X-Men in here. Sorry, y'all. I know that's really loud. Let's see what else they got over here. Ooh, I like that at at driver. How much is he? Is there a price on him? I don't see a price, but I do like that one a lot. Lots of clone troopers. They had these, babe. Remember at our Walmart, they had them for so long? They had them on clearance for a dollar. I think the rest of it's mostly just Funko Pops. There's a lot of people here dressed up as Ninja Turtles, and it's so awesome. It's so cool. Oh, and there's a uh, Gambit and Rogue walking away. This is the Ghostbusters stuff. Like, um, let's see, what is it? It says Geeks for Good. <laughs> Nice. Look at this proton pack, y'all. Dude, that stuff is so cool. Oh yeah, no, look, there's a figure of it right here. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh yeah. See, these are the figures I'd want to get for you, not the ones that have slime on them and stuff, because these are really cool. Dude, oh my god, these proton packs. I mean, we can when we get home if you want to. Nice. Oh, and here's their social media right here. You want to pause and look at it. No, look at that. That is so cool. Oh man, I love the gremlins. Closer look, guys. A lot of good stuff. What is it? Trick or Treat Studios. Yeah, take one of those. We've got a discount for our website. Ah, come on, focus. There we go. There's a discount code if you want to use it. What did you find? Leviosa. Yeah. <laughs> Look at 
Look how pretty that one is, though. Yeah. It is. I like the green. Mm -hmm. oh, I like the vines. Yeah. So I got a yeah, bunch of wands. Pretty. Ooh, and they got some good, like, weight on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of Harry Potter stuff, which is cool. Cool. Like witches' hats. You see these hats? Oh, cute! Oh, they have a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Got some mugs over here, huh? You see that? Oh yeah, I like that one. How much are these? Um, Does they have a price on them? Those are pretty cool. I like that. It almost reminds me of like the, what do they used to call them back in the day? Like the Shrinky Dinks? <laughs> Is that the right name? I can't remember. Shrinky Dinks, I love to make them shrink. Color them in, cut them out. Then get mom to pop them in the oven. They shrink in just three minutes. Shrink. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder how much are these? Well, that's magnets. Uh, Three dollars for those. I don't know, I might have to grab one for Chloe. And there's a few figures in here. There's that old night crawler right there. Hmm, Thor and Oaken Shield. Some of the Simpsons. What in the world? I mean, I know that's a centaur, but well, I didn't really watch Hercules, so maybe that's why I don't know who. The oh, now here we go. I wonder how much these are for the packs. Is there a price anywhere? Okay, I'm gonna have to find out. How many come in here? Five cards, one sticker. Boy, I bet that stick of bubble gum is not good. <laughs> Five cards. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask. Okay, so the guy said they're three dollars for the pack or two for five. So I'm gonna look online because I think I can get um, like on eBay a whole bunch of them for a few dollars. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check before I look to buy those. Look at all these dice. I don't even play games that require dice, at least not right now, but I just love the way they look. Like, like 
Look at that right there. If it would focus, there we go. That is beautiful. Gamer Geeks, and I have their card too. Uh, it's right there if you want to go check them out, Gamer Geeks. And this like weapons booth right here has been packed the whole time we've been here. And booths like this normally are like really busy the entire time. And look, there's Aragorn's sword was up there earlier. It looks like it might have gotten sold. Yeah, they got a lot of cool stuff. I think they have like foam weapons and actual metal ones. Maybe these. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're good. Now, I was trying to get these on film earlier, but they were really, really busy, so it was kind of difficult to get in here. But there's a bunch of pins. Some of them look pretty... Oh, look, there's Thundercats one. Some of them are really cool. Some of them just look a little, little off, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's not bad or anything. Just, they wouldn't be for me. I immediately spotted the Ninja Turtle one, which I'll show you in just a second. And I don't know, something about the the turtles just seemed a little off. But they are twelve dollars each. Twelve dollars each. Four for four. Oh, excuse me, got the hiccups. Four for forty. Let me show you the Ninja Turtle one. Uh where they are. Okay, so look right here, Donatello. His arms just look just look weird to me. Or is that just me? Do y'all think do y'all think that looks weird? Like the, they're like the right, his right arm looks really big and really long. You know, like Raphael looks okay. Michelangelo and Leonardo look okay. So I guess the only one that looks a little off is Donatello. But yeah, those are pretty cool. And then there's a, a pizza one down here too. Right here that I think would go well with, oh, I didn't even see the Beetlejuice ones. Huh, and Chloe didn't see those either. I bet you, because she really loves Beetlejuice. She probably would have said something. But yeah, there's a bunch of pins, and look, there's even some like 3D ones right here. Uh oh. We got the Ghostbusters, uh, Ghost Catcher thing on RC. I'm trying to find some ghosts. Cool. So there's lots of cool shirts over here. Lots of D and D, just a lot of pop culture type stuff. One of the ones that I really like is over here. <laughs> I love that. I don't know how many, you know, all you World of Warcraft players and fans out there. But yeah, there's a lot of cool designs over here. And he said he has a lot more on his uh, online. So there we go right there. Pegasus Publishing. There's a QR code. But yeah, go check him out. I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check him out when I get home to see what else he's got online. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That is really cool. And what's cool about it is like... The, <clears throat> excuse me. It's like the material that would like go on a mouse pad. It just doesn't have the padded bottom to it. So it's like... It's pretty durable. That's really cool. And tell me if you know what that's from. I know what it's from, but tell me if you know what it's from in the comments. And look, they even got, oh, well, that's that's actually inside of there. Yeah, a lot of cool, 
Goonie stuff. And check that out. Thirty years? Holy crap, has it been that long? Oh my gosh, look, a Willy Wonka bar. Wonder if I'd find the golden ticket. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'll check out some of the prints here. I like that Doctor Who one down there. I don't know what this booth is called yet, who it is, but I'll find out in just a second. But I spotted these first. I really like that Dino Bots right there. It's really neat. Man, is, my, is this thing even straight? Okay. I really like that Dino Bots. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, Vampire Hunter D. I haven't seen that in so long. Last time I watched that, I was like a kid. <clears throat> oh, I like that Megazord. Let's see. Was that Harry Potter? That is Harry Potter. The uh, Patronus looks a little out of place though. Or maybe, <laughs> I don't know, it looks too small or something like that. Oh, there's Panthro. All right, let's see what else they got over here. I think I've been to this booth a few times, if I'm not mistaken. If it's the same people, which I think it is. There's some Transformers up there. Oh, that's a cool, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I like that Green Ranger right there, that's nice. Toby Maguire Spider-Man looks like. There's a white phoenix. Let's see. Oh, there's Optimus Prime. Oh, let me get it centered. It's hard to tell. It's like I'm trying to hold the phone close enough to me to where you can hear my voice clearly because it's kind of loud in here, but also at the same time trying to hold it far enough away to where I don't cross my eyes looking at the screen. Oh, here we go. So there's Lion-O, Mumra, a lot of the 80s characters, man. Megatron, oh, there's the turtles. So yeah, I've seen this booth before because I remember seeing these turtles. Let me see, get down there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, like, look, I was looking at this, y'all, and I thought, the numbers on there with I don't know why I thought those were the prices at first so I was like oh my goodness these are prints but no it's just like the number so they can look it up in their thing let me see what's over here oh it's the same ones on the other side all right let me see if they got a card so y'all can see who this is so they were Gulf Coast collectibles and there's their QR code if you want to is it even focused? It looks like it. If you want to pause and check them out, there's the website or Facebook rather. But yeah, they got some pretty cool prints, so go check them out. So y'all check this out. This booth sells like murder mystery boxes. And I guess it's like one of those things where you open it up and there's like a whole bunch of like files and different evidence and stuff and you got to figure out who it is. That's pretty cool. The Deadbolt Mystery Society. Yeah. Deadbolt Mystery Society. Let's see. That's really cool. Boxes are 20 bucks. Convention, well, convention special. I guess they're regularly $26.99. That's pretty cool. You might have to grab one of these. Well, look, and they even have a free gift when you subscribe to their YouTube channel. Which, if you're interested in their YouTube channel, I guess that's the QR code that goes to it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Maybe they have some videos about, like, their 
their uh, their boxes okay. and, and stuff like that. That'd be interesting to see. And they also have some books. Dance with the Devil. DeadboltMysterySociety.com It's nice. These, these definitely look interesting. So look, I think they have like a subscription. That's really awesome. So in each box, interactive online components. Cool. Let's see, and there was something on the back. Yeah. Sign up to receive your first mystery promo code society for 20% off. It was a tough call, but yeah. Nice. And you cannot leave a convention without looking at the, the Lego booth. Look at that ET right there. That is so cool. How do they do these? Like, do they make them themselves? I mean, like... I mean, I'll ask them myself, but I mean, does anyone in the comments know how these are done? Like, do they print them themselves? Do they just take parts and I don't know. I don't know how this is done. I just think it's really cool. Look at all the Harry Potter ones. That is really cool. I know I'm saying that a lot, but uh, it really is cool. All this stuff is cool. Ooh, Ninja Turtles. You know I can't resist Ninja Turtles. We got Bebop and Rocksteady, Michelangelo, Donatello, there's Krang back there. There's Casey Jones. I don't see any of the other ones though. Cool. Oh, is that? No, that's um, Attack on Titan. Look, I saw the green cape and the brown, and I immediately thought Hobbit. All right, let's see what's on this other side real quick. Yeah, they're actually making them into a great hat. Some Star Wars. Could be good. That's like you probably saw in when you see the new game. Let me get out of everyone's way. All right, let's start over here since there's there's no one over here. So let's look over here. I really like these, but I don't know why I'd need them. You know, like, I don't know what I would do with them. Um, you know, display them, I guess. That's fine, but... I don't know. I just I just like them. I don't know if I'd like them enough to, like, buy some and invest in them. Like, I really don't think I need something else to collect right now. Damn, there's a bunch of Spider-Man. Those are cool. Bunch of Marvel... Oh, look at that Professor X. That's so cool. Well, there's an X-Force Wolverine. Lots of X-Men. Gambit. And there's the Weapon X back there. Nice. Oh, look at that Carnage. Oh, those are cool Captain Americas, too. Oh, and that one's cool. Look, the shield is like, the decal is only half on there. So that's from like Endgame, where he's holding Mjolnir and the broken shield. That's really cool. That is so cool. Oh, I really like the, uh, the thing that Doctor Strange is standing on. That's really nice. Let's see, what else is over here? y'all ever come across something that like you really like but you just don't I don't know like you just don't have a reason to buy it or get it but you just really like you want a reason to want it or not want it but you want a reason to have it you know I think this is one of those things yeah I think that's Pretty much it for the the Lego booth.
All right, so let me show y'all what we uh, picked up. We picked up a few prints, and these are all from the same vendor, and I'll put their uh, information down below. But we got this Star Wars print right here. Really nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. We got, we got this Ghostbusters print right here. Also very cool. And, of course, I could not turn away this... Uh, this awesome TMNT print right here. Very cool. And we also picked up this um, this horror montage, horror character montage. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, I think it's kind of cool that like up top it has a lot of the classic characters, and then down below it has a lot of the uh, the more modern characters. So that's really cool too. And then I also got this print autographed by Cal Dodd the voice of Wolverine from the X-Men animated series and the upcoming, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, X-Men 97 series that's coming up. I also had the opportunity to interview Cal Dodd. Uh, so if you want to check out that video, um, it's going to be up here in one of these, like I'm doing the camera facing this way. So I'm not sure if I'm pointing to the right corner, but it's going to be in one of these corners right here. But yeah, be sure to go check that out. As far as the con itself, um, I was I was a little disappointed, not because of the con or anything. It was I mean it was a good con, but it felt like like 85% and that's probably an exaggeration, but it felt like most of the vendors and uh, stuff there was anime um, focused, and I'm just not really into anime. Like I have nothing against anime. <clears throat> um, you know if if that's your thing, that's cool. I mean whatever, but I'm just not really into it myself. So. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to look at. I was really wanting to, um, you know, look through some figures and um, other kinds of collectibles like that. And in, ter in, in terms of figures, there really wasn't much there at all. <clears throat> at least not what I was wanting to look at. So, again, it's nothing against the con. It's nothing against the vendors or anything. It's just, you know, it just wasn't really what I was looking for. But we still did have a lot of fun, especially, you know, the highlight being, of course, talking to... Cal Dodd, that was a lot of fun. Really cool guy, really great guy. Um, he was super easy to talk to and everything. So if you ever get a chance to meet him, take that opportunity, it's worth it. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for this con video. So uh, see y'all next time.